So mm -hmm. let's just keep an open, open mind, mm -hmm. you know, listen to each other and be willing to also change our own perspectives mm -hmm. because that's what actually makes a good dialogue. Mm -hmm. So oh, yep. let's keep it I, on that note. I, I, do agree, I do agree with you, but <clears throat> you did say that there is a conditional love, but then, you, but then you, you said something else that said there isn't because you said if he wasn't loving you how you wanted to love you, you would go away. No. Out of love, but no. it would be out of love. Because, um, because, let me know if I paraphrase. I want to make sure I understand. Yeah, sure. Essentially, Explain. for you, if you love somebody, sometimes you have to leave them because it's the compassionate thing to do, so that they can figure themselves out. And you're doing that out of love. Is that correct? When you try to change someone, it puts on more stress for them. The feeling of having to change because you are disappointing your loved one. So sometimes people have to take their own journeys. Mm -hmm. And for that, sometimes you have to leave out of love for them to figure themselves out. And that is okay. It is completely normal. It's just like when you leave your house, your mom, because you got mad at her, and then you go and you figure yourself out and then you come back. And that's an explanation, a hypothetical of a teenager that has to go back to the house. But if you're talking about someone that you're married to, as you said in your example, you have three kids with them and blah, 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 blah. Mm. Then definitely, if you want to raise your kids in a good way and your person is not in a good mental space and they need to figure their, some, their, themselves out, then definitely you need to let them go mm. and wait for them in case they they want to change because it's, it's a personal choice. You can't change people. 